Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob, and this is a walk around video of my 1979 Ford Bronco Custom. This Bronco has the 400 cubic inch motor with the three speed Power Glide automatic transmission. I'm going to do a full restoration on this Bronco and plenty of upgrades, so please subscribe to my channel to follow along. All right, let's get right into it. Well, today's the big day. We're gonna go check out our new Bronco. Hopefully be driving home, be home by tonight. <laughs> I found our Bronco through Facebook Marketplace and bought a one-way ticket to Austin, Texas to fly down and buy it. I had been searching for close to a year and this was by far the best looking 79 I could find to do a restoration with. I just, uh, I'm still trying to process what just happened and the AC isn't working. We got a 12 hour drive home and it's supposed to be really hot in Texas. Here we go. Best time to learn everything about our vehicle during this 12 hour drive. This Bronco is powered with the 400 cubic inch motor. For today's standards, that's a 6.6 .6 liter V8 engine. It's cranking out horsepower and it just wants to sing. It's powered up with a three speed power glide transmission. And since it only is three speeds, it wants to cruise at 75, but if you cruise too long, it definitely gets warm. So really it's around a 65, 68 mile an hour cruiser. This Bronco is able to seat six adults comfortably with the deep footwells in the rear and the roomy bench seat up front. This Bronco has both solid front and rear axles and it's made for serious off-roading. On my Bronco, it came with 15 inch rims, which is really common around that time. We have 33 inch tires with 12 and a half inch width. And I'll tell you what, with the 15 inch rims, these tires look really beefy. They look a lot bigger than the 33 inch tires on my truck, just because of the fact of the rim size is so much smaller. There's a lot of rubber on these wheels. With the manual transfer case on the interior, you lock it into four low or four high. You can't forget to hop out and lock the hubs so you can put it in full wheel drive. So because this is the bench seat, when you adjust the seat forward, you're adjusting the entire bench seat. So if my wife is driving, she's usually sitting a little further up, which means I lose some leg room as well. A little bit of a bummer. We might be swapping over to bucket seats, but I do like having the bench seat. I miss it from my old truck and it's just cool having a bench seat riding around. So these Broncos were pretty bare bones, especially the Custom. The Custom is the baseline. There's one other offering called the Ranger XLT, which was the top of the line Bronco. Some of those came with cruise control, power windows, a couple other amenities like that. Right now, we don't even have a functioning radio. We use a Bluetooth speaker while driving down the road. We currently don't have running AC either. So it's a little bit of a, you know, it's got some character. It's definitely got plenty of projects for us to work on. So since this is the automatic, the shifter is on the column and we have park, reverse, neutral drive, first and second gear. And then down below here is the four wheel drive selection. So you wanna go to neutral, you can get down to four low, two high, four high. And once you've selected it for the transfer case, then you'd have to get out of the truck or out of the Bronco, I should say, and then lock the hubs. So down here is the high beams. Really nice, so you can keep your hands on the wheel if you're making a turn on the back roads, you could just turn your brights on and off right there with your foot. Yeah, so we are missing the liner to the glove box. One of many things on the list. 
We've got other things on the list too, like the new dome light and lens. Definitely want to do a headliner as well and probably even put some soundproofing up there while we're at it before we put the headliner in. Dash is cracked. There's some other things too, I'm sure. Having the top off in these Broncos is legendary. Being able to remove the top is what these Broncos are really known for. And in 78, 79, when they went to the full size, the front portion was not removed above the driver, so it's actually a solid cab. It's only the back portion of the Bronco from here on when they went full size into the 90s that removes on this Bronco. So the first upgrades we'll be doing to this Bronco is fixing the turn signal indicator, the hazards, and we definitely want some AC. Also, we have a stereo that we plan on installing as well. So the only portion of the Bronco that is not original are these side panels. They're well known to just get faded and rotten over time because the original panels were cardboard backing with vinyl over them. So it's pretty common that they would fall apart and deteriorate over time. Now I do plan on doing a custom upgrade with these using some marine grade HDPE panels. And I'm gonna cut them down to size and try and capture some more storage and also integrate some modern electronics for charging or running our refrigerator or anything else that we may have back here. I'm super stoked how this Bronco is mostly original and I plan to keep it that way. The only things that I plan to change are upgrading to bucket seats in the interior and changing out the rear side panels. So that way we can have some upgraded electronics and it'll look a little bit nicer than the plywood that's in there. I plan to do a body off restoration with this because the body mounts are looking a little worn. Also the frame has some surface rust and needs to be painted and the footwells on both driver and passenger side are rotted out. So they'll need to be cut out and replaced. I can't wait to document this for you guys in a full resto mod build. Make sure you subscribe to follow along. All right, guys, so my Bronco is Midnight Blue, and I need your help with a name. I've got a few names in mind, but I want to hear your guys' names as well. What do you suggest? What should I name my Bronco? Drop it in the comments below. Also, if you have any suggestions on upgrades I should look into or modifications or anything of that nature, please let me know by dropping it in the comments below. And thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel to follow along on these future upgrades. It's going to be a lot of fun and I want you to follow along and be there with me. Thanks for watching.